Under the parole evidence rule, extrinsic evidence is generally inadmissible to vary or contradict the terms of an unambiguous and fully integrated contract. However, extrinsic evidence may be admissible to prove that the contract was the product of fraud or mutual mistake. But what if extrinsic evidence shows that one of the parties didn't understand the legal significance of a term in the contract? Is this evidence admissible? A federal district court in New York considered this question in a state of Stanley Kaufman v. Rochester Institute of Technology. In 1958, Stanley Kaufman began working as a writer and movie critic for The New Republic, an independent magazine company based in New York. For most of his career, Kaufman's business relationship with the New Republic was based on an oral agreement between the parties. But in 2004, the literary editor of the New Republic sent Kaufman a letter seeking to memorialize some terms of their business relationship in writing. In the letter, the editor asked Kaufman to confirm by checking a box that all his past articles were, quote, works made for hire, unquote, as that term is defined under U.S. copyright law that is, works created in the scope of employment that belonged to the employer. Further, the editor asked Kaufman to confirm that his future articles would also be works made for hire. Kaufman checked the boxes and signed the letter, but he didn't understand the legal significance of the term works made for hire. In 2013, Kaufman passed away. Two years later, the Rochester Institute of Technology, or RIT, published some of Kaufman's writings in a book without permission. Subsequently, Kaufman's estate sued RIT for copyright infringement in the United States District Court for the Western District of New York. Both parties filed cross motions for summary judgment. In its motion, Kaufman's estate sought to introduce extrinsic evidence, including affidavits, to prove that Kaufman didn't understand the term works made for hire and believed he owned the copyrights to his articles. The court considered the motions. 